Today's guest is Dr. Miriam Lalek Kirati, and she is a new member of CBRC. Welcome to CBRC, Miriam. Thank you. Uh, she recently published a paper, Spectral Data Denoising Using Semi Classical Signal Analysis Application to Localized MRS in N. MR medicine. And uh, uh, Miriam, this paper contains uh, so many difficult equations, but it looks very important, particularly for medical application. Could you tell us the importance of this paper? Sure, thank you. So this paper provides a new and efficient method for MRS data denoising, MRS for magnetic resonance spectroscopy data. So in fact, MRS provide a unique modality to study tissue metabolisms. It acquires uh, from metabolic information uh, that reflect uh, activity and functions of living systems. It also uh, provides information about biochemical alteration. And this is very useful when, for example, uh, and uh, when we want to understand the tissue metabolism or we want to differentiate between disease and uh, uh, normal tissues. So, however, MRS is subject to noise. What does this mean? It means that when we acquire this MRS data, so the information required, uh, the information of the metabolism that is required to extract uh, might be altered because of the noise level, the high noise level. And this can be measured, for example, by low signal to noise ratio. And the objective of this paper is really to provide an efficient method that will remove this noise right, by keeping information, the acquired information about the metabolism. I see. So usually when we go to clinics or hospitals, the doctor conduct like, like a CT or MRS mm -hmm. test. So in this MRS test, I think uh, we are looking at the images. But uh, usually, as you say, a lot of noise. But how to reduce the noise, then obtain uh, actual data would be uh, very important, right? Yeah, yeah, you are right. So uh, in general, images uh, that we uh, acquire in uh, using brain modalities or any kind of uh, imaging modalities mm -hmm. are very noisy. And that's why some post-processing methods are, requ are required in order to remove the noise and keep the essential information about the signal that we need, in fact, to, in order to you know, uh, detect uh, some disease or interpret or understand something from this data. And uh, one of uh, the types of methods that have been proposed in order to deny these signals are um, function decomposition. So, which consists of decomposition, decomposing our signal into a set of functions mm -hmm. and then retaining only the function that contains the information about signal and discard the ones that contain information about the noise. This will allow to remove the noise but by keeping the information that is needed about the signal. And this approach that we propose is very efficient for MRS signals because of the pulse shaped nature of these MRS signals. Our approach is very efficient for pulse shaped signals in general. I this see. is the case for MRS. So looking at the MRS image, I think such a big computation has been done. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, thank Miriam. You. And uh, when we go to hospital, then we whenever we receive MRS test, let us remind all Miriam's paper. Thank okay, you. Okay, congratulations for thank publication. You very much. Thank you.